It is summertime again, and you know what that means. It means that you can go in the front yard and run through the sprinkler, but you have to put on your some sunscreen because your mom said, oh, the button is turning off. But do you know how sun sunscreen works to protect you against the angry, angry sun? If not, you've come to the right place. This is my video about how sunscreen works. Shouldn't the intro be playing? What causes a sunburn? The sun causes a sunburn. Duh, guys. Duh. But wait, there's got to be more to this answer. Thinking, 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 thinking. Easy, 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 easy. Thinking, 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 thinking. Oh right, I prepared a whole thing about it. UV light from tanning beds causes sunburns, which is why I think it's kind of weird that it's called a sunburn. It should be called like a bed burn or tan burn, burn, tan burn, tan burn. Oh, the sun. Dang. So UV light comes from the sun, and apparently there's a few different kinds of UV light, so let's break it down. Nobody says break it down anymore. The first type is called UVA. It has a longer wavelength, which allows it to pass right through the Earth's ozone layer without being absorbed. Once it makes it down to the Earth's surface, it can penetrate your skin and is one of the major contributing factors to long-term skin damage and cancer. The second type is called UVB, and when it comes in contact with your skin, it stimulates the production of melanin, which is what gives your skin that tanned color, but if left exposed for too long, it can cause a sunburn. And finally, there's UVC, which gets absorbed by the ozone high up in the Earth's atmosphere, so we're good there. What does the SPF number mean? The acronym SPF stands for Sun Protection Factor, and that little SPF number on the bottle represents the level of protection it provides against UVB rays. The kind of sunscreen you want to buy is one with the bottle that says Broad Spectrum on it. This means it also protects against UVA rays. You're welcome. Common misconception about the SPF level is that it indicates the strength of protection, when in fact it's actually referring to how much longer it takes for the UVB rays to redden a person's skin. For example, a sunscreen with an SPF level of 15 means that it'll take about 15 times longer for the skin to burn, as compared to the time it would normally take a person's skin to burn if they hadn't used the product. So suppose you're a person who normally burns after spending 10 minutes in strong sunlight, if instead you apply a sunscreen with an SPF rating of 15, you'll be able to spend about 150 minutes in the sun before that same sunburn kicks in. How does sunscreen protect against UV rays? There are two main types of active ingredients in modern sunscreens. The first are inorganic particles that form a physical barrier that reflect and scatter UV rays before they're able to reach your skin, the most common of which are titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. Back in the day, these light-reflecting inorganic compounds made sunscreen look like white paint, which is why old pictures of like surfer dudes had that white nose when they're out on the beach. But nowadays, we use nanotechnology to produce sunscreens that are completely clear, but are still just as effective. They contain the same stuff, but the particles inside of them are so small, they're invisible. The second main type of active ingredient are organic compounds, which react with the UV radiation before it's able to penetrate your skin by absorbing the rays and re-releasing their energy in the form of infrared radiation. And here's a list of some of these organic compounds that I can't pronounce. In summary, sunscreen helps protect our skin in two different ways. The first is that it blocks, the, blocks and reflects the UV rays, and the second is that it absorbs the UV rays. And a special thanks goes out to science for making nano, nano stuff so that you don't look like a white-faced freak. So have fun in the sun, and remember to always use sunscreen. Or don't. I don't care.